Hi, my name is Devin Black, and I'm a co-founder of the Access BC campaign, which advocates for universal free coverage of prescription contraception in BC. As you might have heard a couple of days ago, Lori Thronis, a former liberal candidate and now independent candidate for election in Chilliwack, Kent, made some pretty egregious comments about contraception. Um, he said that contraception coverage provided by government has a whiff of eugenics about it and tried to position himself as an advocate for people in poverty when really he's advocating against a policy that would save people thousands of dollars over the course of their lives. This was really frustrating for us on the campaign because unfortunately it's representative of some of the opposition that we've gotten in the four years that we've been pushing for this policy to become real. It's not reflective of what BC voters want because we know that BC voters understand that access to contraception is not just about individual health choices. It's about giving people the capacity to make healthy choices for themselves and their families and that that benefits the communities that they live in. What's been exciting for us over the course of this election is we've seen that our politics are finally starting to reflect what voters want. In the BC NDP platform, they've included universal contraception coverage for everyone. The BC Green Party has included universal contraception coverage for people up to age 25 and wants to remove PST from prescription contraception. And even the BC Liberal leader, after Mr. Thronis' comments, came out and said that he supports uh, BC, uh, BC government-funded contraception for anybody who wants it. It's so exciting for us to see that all three major parties in BC understand that this is a priority for voters and understand the benefits that it could bring to our province. But now we need to hold those three parties to account. We need to make sure that they do actually make this a priority once the election is over and that they get it done in a way that is as inclusive as possible. So what we're asking you to do is three things. First of all, we want you to visit our website at accessbc.org. Send an email to the candidates in your writing through our website and let them know that access to contraception is a priority for you. Second of all, we want you to tell your friends and family about our campaign. Share the information about it on social media, tell them about it in person, ask them to send an email too. And the last thing that we wanna do is we wanna ask you to vote. The best way to make your voice heard during an election is always at the ballot box. And we want you to make your vote while keeping this policy in mind. So right now we're at a tipping point. We're at a point where our advocacy that we've been pushing for for four years now is about to become a policy reality, but we can't do it without you. So please visit our website, send an email, Tell your friends and family about us. Get out and vote. Thanks so much.